Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Blood Moon, where previously my game crashed during a quick save. The cheeky bastard. Luckily though, the save does seem to work. I just loaded up the quick save and uh, we're fine. So part of me is a little bit nervous about continuing with a quick save that crashed during its quick save. There's a way to phrase that sentence that makes more sense, I'm sure, but uh, it's hot. It's late in the evening. I've had a long day, and you'll just have to forgive me. But, nervous as I might be, I don't think I should be really, because I'm pretty sure every Bethesda game I've played has done this at some point, where it's, it's crashed while quick saving, but it still did actually manage to save, and I've never had any issues carrying on with that save, so... Let's just continue, trying to make a, you know, token attempt at sneaking past the Draugr. As we seek to release the sun from its prison down here in the halls of Penumbra. Although... Do uh, you know what? Uh, Maybe the quick save didn't work, because I think I'm back at the start. And again, it's been like three or four days since I last played, so... I don't actually remember where I quick save. Maybe I did quick save here. I don't know. Let's just carry on. As I commented previously, the lighting in here is proper weird. Let's see, old Morrowind's gra Morrowind graphics extender. Mostly, I think, not playing very nicely with the, uh, with the Blood Moon expansion. Something above or below me there. Oh, you sneaky little... <laughs> How did I get down there last time? I went invisible, that's what I did. Do you know what? I never use Moon Shadow. <coughs> Let's move it to use it today. And you are cheating! Stop cheating! Bastard. Did I get the treasure? On this quick save, there's more treasure here, apparently. Do I care enough? Ugh, I suppose I do. Very good joke game, very funny. Oh, we're going to have to do this the hard way. Oh, my long blade skill finally increased again. That's always nice. And medium armor. Not that I really care, but hey. Quick save. Oh, these guys are just jerks. I hate them. Right. Here is the guy that ended me last time. Right, let's let's prepare, shall we? First things first. Uh, restore health cheap. A couple of those. Second barrier. Third barrier. Shield. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. Third barrier ring. Not the belt, damn it. Ring. On the belt, the unarmored back on, thank you very much. Excellent. Okay. Lots of shield. 
Lots of shield. Range leech health. Here we go. You do not stun lock me, I stun lock you. Oh dear, this is not going well. Store health exclusive. Fortify attack exclusive. Do you know what? I think I might have that. And, uh, what else? What else? Hmm. Oh, I can't cast it, never mind. The beast is slain. Lightkeeper Graal. Flaming Eye of the Lightkeeper. Go ahead, scoop that on out of your out of your skull. I found a bright glowing object behind a wall of ice. Yep, that's what we're here for. Would you like to throw the flaming eye at the ice wall? Yes. Boosh. All the torches are lit. The wall has crumbled. Anything in here? No? Jolly good. That was quite an, quite an impressive effect, actually, for, for this game. Marvellous. Well, job done. You silly lightkeeper growl. I'll teach you to steal the sun. Now, genuinely, I want to see if, if the weather's changed outside. Because previously it was all snowy and overcast and horrible. But I want to see now if it's actually, you know, sunny and nice. Oh, come on, draw your sword, man. <coughs> Unarmoured increased to 31. Two things there. One, I'm surprised my unarmoured is 31, but then again, it's probably because of the belt, right? Actually, it doesn't fortify unarmoured. So yeah, that's a little surprising. And also, that probably means that some of my armour is broken and I'm not wearing it, and that's why unarmoured is coming up. And again, uh, it could be because I'm wearing gloves instead of gauntlets. Which kind of annoyed me that you couldn't wear gloves with braces. I feel like that should be an inherent advantage of braces. But alas. I'm sure all of this probably needs a repair soon, yeah. It's all looking a bit battered. But uh, it seems to be largely intact. Helmet's intact, my pauldrons are intact, those are usually the first things to go, so. Yeah, alright, fair enough. <clears throat> now, I'd, there's probably some other stuff in here. I'm not sure how thorough I want to be in my explorations of this cave, though, but then again, it could have some nice treasure. <coughs> though, that said, I think we probably found the good treasure already. Big pile of stuff. Oh, for heaven's sake. Yeah, being stun locked. It's not fun, is it, mate? Another one of these. Well, let me guess. You also contain a pair of shoes? Just use on to use this open door. You failed casting the spell, hooray. Just wait for an hour. There we go. Um. Oh, that was worth the bother, wasn't it? Clearly. Right. Let us return to the sandstone. 
because I believe that's what we need to do now. And then our final task, I think it's the final task, will be the windstone all the way back up north again. Oh god, I'm lost. How do I get out of here? Ah! Which way am I even pointing? Stay dead this time, would you please? Do us all a favor. There better be something good up here. Oh, come on, get your dagger out there. Ah, oh, it's this. Ah, oh, maybe I didn't get this, this on the second run. No, it looks like I didn't. Very well. Probably lucky that I accidentally came up here, otherwise there would have been much screaming in the comments. Dave, Dave, you didn't go back to get the literal hundreds of gold coins that you really don't actually need because you have like 40 grand on you. But hey. Sorry, 42 grand. <laughs> uh, Deuce is open door, please. Hooray. Oh, it's, oh, good, soul gem. I shall not take that right away. Okay, do you know what? I might just recall out of here. Divine intervention out of here. Oh boy, it's all zoomed out. Let's get that zoomed in. Where are we right now? We're here. Sunstone's over there. Fort Frostmoth is down there. Uh... Doing it. Divine intervention. Because there's also a person I need to give a hat to. I need to hand over Uncle Sweetshare's hat to the uh, Imperial Lady at the fort. I keep forgetting to do it. And also, I wonder if... Actually, it's probably not been that long in game time, has it? I was wondering if maybe the next stage of the colony can be worked on. Because I've decided at this point that I think the colony is actually the main thing Fathus is interested in on this island. This uh, whole skull thing is mostly... I mean, it seems like a very weak motivation to do it, but when you're as powerful as Fathis is, sometimes idle curiosity really is all you need. <laughs> but really, I think his main concern is the, is the colony and how much money he can extract from it. So... Yeah, we sorted out Hroldar, didn't we? And that was day 212. And it's currently day 2.13, isn't it? Yeah, so it will be a little, another couple of days yet before we can do any more of that. Anyway, uh, where is she? Is it you? Yes. If Vib I can be Vibia. of any assistance, I'll be happy to help. Sorry, Vilbia. Is it you I'm supposed to talk to? Maybe not. A pleasant afternoon to you, citizen. Right, there we go. Fathus, do my eyes deceive me, or is that a white Colovian fur helm? Then the deed is done. The moon sugar poisoner has been brought to justice. Excellent work. The Imperial Legion will not forget you or your assistance. Here, please, take this gold. It's a symbol of our thanks. 1,500 gold to kill a lunatic in a cabin? I'll take that any day of the week. Thank you very much. Excellent. Right now, to the tree. To I almost said to the tree stone. No, to the sunstone. This way. Hello, Vardenfell. Do you know it's weird, but I already miss you a little bit. Fathers might have only been here a few days during the grand scheme. Probably about a week, I think. He's been here, but uh, he's he's been here like a month in real life. <laughs> so. I'm starting to miss Morrowind. 
I'm getting, you know, Ashland withdrawal symptoms. I want to see a silt strider. This, it, this instant, getting homesick. Actually, really know for sure where I'm going right now. I'm just heading in the general direction that I think is correct. What foul denizen of the forest wishes to assail me? Oh, it's uh, the you things. Wrong button. What are these things called again? The Getty. That's it. They only seem to live down in the south here in the woods. Haven't encountered any up north. Plenty of angry mooses though up north. So I can marry belts. A lockpick and some bread. I shall eat this bread. To celebrate my victory. Oh, I know. I got a barrow. Frostle main barrow. I'm gonna pick this belladonna because it might be useful for something. In fact, what was it that What's Her Face wanted? Gorvin, I think it was. Back at my tower. I think she, it was either Holly or Belladonna she wanted. I forget which. One of the two. Oh, look, I can see some glamour ruins in the really, really far distance. Oh, man. Anyway. Can't get over how bloody big Morrowind is these days with all the mods and stuff you can chuck at it. Like, there's a whole extra... There's a whole like uh, there's a whole mod I've forgotten what it's called. It's 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 like of dubious canon, you know. Take some liberties with the law. This one, but it's 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 set on this like group of islands out to the east of of Morrowind itself, and uh, it's basically this this place where a bunch of Azura worshipping dark elves live, and it's a whole thing. And I've seen screenshots and videos of it and stuff, and it looks very impressive. Not going to include in, the, in this let's play because my goodness, we don't have the time. We've been doing this for five years already. It's a zombie wolf. I don't know, we'll see one of them. For heaven's sake, yeah, Fathus, my my thoughts exactly, mate. An irritated grumble. Playing dead and actually die. Bone wolf. Yep. It's quite dark in here considering I'm wearing a night eye amulet right now. And I'm not playing this in the middle of the day, so I don't have the glare on my screen either. It's genuinely just a bit dingy in here. Dingy. That's a word that doesn't get used often enough these days. Ever since the internet decided to steal the word dank and use it for its own nefarious purposes, I think we should reclaim dingy and use that more often. Lock level 65. I do not know why I decided to say that in this sort of weird... Vaguely southern accent. Come on. Water for them. Restore my magic or I want to cast this. Wow, I really have to use a lot of magic to get in here, don't I? Seriously? Come on. There we, go. we got heartwood. That is good. And arrow wasting spark. That's less good. Skeleton Nords. Right, let's we'll deal with you one at a time, I think. Right after I deal with this. Give it a minute. I'm not in a rush. I'm perfectly happy to sit here and wait. Might even increase my sneak skill while I'm at it if I walk from left to right. If I hop from toe to toe here for a bit while with that skeleton around. <laughs> Might get the old sneak skill to increase. In fact, we can check if it is. Uh, 82 out of 100. Oh, uh, never mind. Maybe I'm not close enough.
Pah. Whatever you say, Morrowind. Did I flame arrow? Clearly some famous archer must be buried here, that's all I can say. Where's the skeleton gone? I could really do with a seriously meaty two-handed sword. But unfortunately most of the two-handed swords in the game don't really match up to Goldbrand with all the mods I've got installed. One of, uh, definitely one of Rebirth's more perplexing balance changes. I get most of them and fully support most of the changes Rebirth does, but making gold brand as good as it is doesn't quite... I don't get it, really, if I'm honest. I don't get why gold brand should be better than, like, Chrysomir and, uh, uh, let's see, the Ice Blade of the Monarch and uh, stuff like that. Shields. <laughs> Still sneaking here in an attempt not to attract the attention of the other one. I have to admit, I, I have to admit, I will say this actually for, for Blood Moon versus the mainland. As much as I miss the mainland, I am enjoying the, the inherent challenge of Blood Moon a lot. It's kind of, once in a while, it's nice to be knocked out in two hits by a fearsome growl. Reminds me that Fathers is still mortal. I mean, technically he's immortal, I suppose, but... Yeah. Okay, you're definitely worse than the shield, dude. <laughs> Unarmed NPCs in Morrowind are so OP. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I swear, every time I play an unarmed character, they're never this good. Uh, looking for restore fatigue, aren't I? That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm frantically mousing around, trying to trying to find. Restore fatigue quality, there we go. At this successfully did a block, I'm proud of you. Although, in the process, we knack it out the water for them, so that's that's actually a little bit annoying. Speaking of annoying. I really don't need to do it go that overboard with potions, do I, now that I think about it when it comes to health potions, because we don't actually have that much <laughs> minus 36 fatigue, god damn it. We don't actually have that much um health on account of our incredibly low endurance. God, he was a handful, wasn't he? I think you can see why I wanted to fight them one at a time. You blow you broke my bloody shield, you bastard. I'm all out of repair tools. Oh boy, okay. Right, well. Do I have long fingers equipped still? Long fingers? Where are you? There it is. Long fingers and... Oh! Put deceit back on, will you? Oh no, that's the wrong one. Although, that would have really helped back in the cave, huh? <laughs> that plus, plus probably Kaiser's uh, shirt. That's the one, yeah. Oh well. Where's my other glove then? Oh yeah, Nimble Fingers is the other one, isn't it? Long fingers, nimble fingers, we've got deceit, and we've got Arian's helper, yeah. Sure, what wasn't there another wasn't there another glove? Or am I misremembering? I'm misremembering. Right anyway. Um, okay. That worked, thank goodness. Morrowind! 
are you going to be like that for? I mean, you're trying to use Onduce's open door instead of Onduce's key, by the way, in case you're wondering. Just to keep keep increasing that alteration skill at the moment. It's the main thing. It's at 65 now, which is respectable, but I want more. Set off the trap and. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, do I have a scroll of lock splitter? That's a lock splitting. No, I want actual lock splitting. Ekash is lock splitter, right? Oh, f crying out loud, right? That. I'm having that. Thank you very much. I was trolled by the collision mesh there, and I was trolled by the contents of the chest while it was at it too, so... Oh, stupid. Stupid Barrow. <laughs> Never mind. <sighs> grumble, grumble, grumble. Fine. Let's go find the Sunstone. Wherever it has gotten to. Hello, Moose. Please don't attack me. Hello, hawkers. Yo, where the sunstone at? I think it's this way. I'm moving very fast right now. That's a pack of wolves. Not interested in them, must say. Oh, it's a bear. Do you know what, bear? You've got more health than I expected, Mr. Bear. I can metal level up, my goodness. Longblade 75 while I was at it too. That's certainly not bad. I think I will rest and level up, actually. Just as soon as I find that bloody sun zone. There it is, finally. Just as the weather starts to turn and something wants me dead, I don't know what it is though. How inappropriate, I just finished the quest that releases the sun and, uh, and now it turns into a blizzard. I've completed the gift of the sun ritual. Job's a good one. You wouldn't think so, look at the weather. Right, let's... Divine Intervention right now is what I want. Oh, crap. Uh, oh, that's what wants me dead, it's the Frost Atronarch. Well, sorry Frost Atronarch, but I can't be asked with you today. Oh, God. Leave me alone. <laughs> Bad kitty. <sighs> Finally. Oh. Whew. Right, where's the smith? I think he's this way. I got some stuff that needs repairing. Zeno Faustus. Fine name there, sir. Repair everything. And also, while you're at it, give me some repair tools if you've got any. You haven't got any? What kind of smith are you? 
I must have already bought them off him. I'm going to assume that that's what's happened. Uh, right. Let's have another restore magic of cheap so that I can recall myself to hopefully the well Thursk is the plan. Although I can't remember if I remembered to reset my mark. So who knows where this will take me. Good time to quick save me things. Oh for heaven's sake. That's a really crap. Restore Magicka potion if it only restored ten Magicka. Let's try one of the homebrew ones. Oh that's better. Hey, there we go. Leave all the bad weather down south. Enjoy the nice sunset up here. Does my man round here have any repair tools for sale? Has he finished my next piece of armor, for that matter? Ah, oh, it is ready. Excellent. Snow Wolf Right Pauldron has been added. So, that can replace... The Frost Eater Pauldron. 5% less resist frost, but... The difference in armor rating is massive. 58 versus 62. That's, that's significant. I might dump that in my room upstairs, I think, for now. Weighs less, too. You can always tell it weighs less, light armor versus medium armor, because in the games, in, in, in the construction set, when you assign... You don't, you don't assign what type an armor is by a tick box or anything that says light or medium or heavy armor, it's assigned purely by the engine depending on how much the armor physically weighs. So whether it's light, medium or heavy depends entirely on what the actual weight of the item is. So at least I think that's the way it worked. So you can always tell that a medium armor pauldron is going to be heavier than a light armor pauldron. Let's test that theory, shall we? It weighs 8 versus 2.4. Yeah. Oh, um. Since we're here, what would be good? Uh, Gauntlets I don't really need because I use my gloves. Uh, Curious I don't need because I've got the Curious of the Savior's hide. A helm would not be a bad idea. Excellent. It cost me two grand, but I'm alright with that. Paid for by a fair bit of chunk of the loot that I've got recently. Uh, right, how many more snow wolf pelts have I got? It's two snow bear pelts. Two regular bear pelts. Why am I? You know what? Consider these a donation. Eyeballs. Uh, don't really need the shine either, I'm honest with you, mate. Yeah, I have some of this. It's from the Imperial Fort down south. You'll love it. Raw Stalrim. Ah. A moose antler. That's a souvenir. I'm having that as a souvenir, along with the Hawker Tusk. I should remember, I've got the soft leather, leather boots, actually. They give me a bit of extra feather when I'm in a bind. Anyway. Oh, you haven't got any tools, either. Unbelievable. Carpet and smiths with no tools. All over this island. I wonder if the, the guy in the Scar Village has got any. What say you? I say that you should really throw Eric in the bin. He's starting to smell. Uh, there we go. 
Ah, my stuff. Now then. Let's dump this here. It's housekeeping time, folks. Oh, yes. Housekeeping time with Sorcerer Dave. Oh, I have 17 fire salts for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. It's frost salts that are useful. I just have a ton of fire salts for some reason. Who knows? I guess I could sell them. I should remember to do that. Next time I find someone who'll buy them off me, I'll sell all those fire salts. Treachery. That was the other glove. Okay. Have we got any books that we're worth reading right now? I uh, don't think so. Oh. Don't need this note anymore. I don't know why that's still in my inventory getting lost. Oh, that just looks ugly. That's better. Uh, I care about these things, you know. Custom fair armor price list. Story of Ava Stonesinger. Shortly, we will no longer require that. And the Song of Uncle Sweet Share times two. Worth 250 gold each. I suppose I better hang on to them. Alright. It is downright cozy in here. I like it. Alright, uh, let's rest for 13 hours, start at 6am, bright and early, chop chop. I definitely think Fathus is a morning person. I don't know, I just get that impression about him. You have ascended to level 36. Marvellous. Well, hey, strength is now 101. But we've reached 100, is the main thing. Uh, speed, maybe. Maybe more speed. More speed is always good. And the tricky third point, what do we do with it? Could try and boost endurance a bit. Could try and increase agility even further. Could increase intelligence a little bit, get another couple of points of magicka. Let's have a little bit of an endurance boost. You're gonna get one after all if you're running around on a snowy island like this all day. Stand about. Get moving. Very well. Um, do any of you guys enjoy our mead and kinship? Do you guys have anything else that needs doing? I'm curious. I seem to remember there being a whole side quest with this place. Ugh. I don't know how to. Come on, then. Say something or move on. Don't know how to trigger it, unfortunately. Oh well. Okay. Slightly misty morning. Sun coming up over the horizon that way. Once again, very pretty. So, we seek the windstone, ladies and gentlemen. Scroll of Warrior's Blessing. Ooh, that is a good scroll. Uh, right. Doodly doodly do. Right. Avar had one final gift he had to recover. The gift of the winds. So, he travelled to the Windstone, far on the western coast of the island. When he arrived, the Allmaker spoke to him, giving him his final task. Find the greedy man and release the wind from its captivity. So, Avar wandered the land in search of the greedy man. He looked in the trees, but the greedy man did not hide there. Nor did he hide near the oceans or the deep caves, and the beasts had not seen him in the dark forests. Finally, Avar came to a crooked house, and he knew that here he would find the greedy man. Who are you, shouted the greedy man, that you would come to my house? I am Avar of the Skarl, said Avar. I am no I am not a warrior, shaman, or elder. If I do not return, I will not be missed. But I have returned to the oceans and the earth, the trees, the beasts, and the sun. The birds 
in the sky, and I will return the winds to my people, that we may feel the spirit of the All Maker in our souls again. And with that, he grabbed up the greeny man's bag and tore it open. The winds rushed out with gale force, sweeping the greedy man up and carrying him off far from the island. Avar breathed the winds, breathed in the winds, and was glad. He walked back to the windstone, where the Allmaker spoke to him a final time. You have done well, Avar. You, the least of the Skarl, have returned my gifts to them. The greedy man is gone for now, and should not trouble your people again in your lifetime. Your Allmaker is pleased. Go now and live according to your nature. And Avar started back to the vi- back to the Scar Village. Right. So we must seek the windstone, which is up there. And just sort of down to the west of Skull Village, I would say, roughly speaking. I think I've killed most of the wildlife that's in this region, so... <laughs> we should hopefully be untroubled on our way through here, but you never know. Oh, uh, weather's getting worse. Oh no, Reeklings, run! I know the feeling. <laughs> uh, here's the well I was looking for before. There you go. Leads to rim hole. Okay, a big old bridge down there. And the windstone should be around here somewhere. That that uh, bit in the river around here-ish. The river splits. Right about there. Woo-wee! So the windstone should be here. I think I see it, in fact. You will die where you stand! <gasps> She pronounced her own execution sentence, I suppose. Let's just uh, go ahead and walk across this show. I don't think Fathis really fancies an icy bath. As invigorating as it might be. He's a dark elf. Probably find it less than invigorating. <coughs> Probably prefers a sauna, really. Not only a dark elf, but he's really old too. <laughs> now that I think about it, uh, Solthasheim, Lega. Have we been in Lega before? Don't think we have. What have we here? Looks like a cave with some bears in it. Although someone's lit these torches, clearly. So. What is the deal with this place? There's a lot of bears. Oh my god, the bears are shooting stuff at me. What the hell? Fat 
grizzly bears, eh? Oh no, this one specifically is fat. Ring of Wizards fire. Drain health 15 to 35 points on target. Bear pelt and human flesh. Oh, you've been eating somebody, haven't you? Hello. I want into this. <laughs> Bollocks, never mind. What have we got? Ring of ice bolts. Yeah. Still health standard. Don't mind if I do. Grey shaft of nonsense. Not really needed. Not really that interesting. Okay, so the skeletons in here, like, as if... Maybe the, maybe the bears are just very efficient. They plucked every ounce of meat off the bones here. Because this clearly happened recently. The torches are still bloody lit. Ring of shadow form. Eh. Scamp slinker belt. Eh. That's all tat in it. Settler's journal. Entry one. Today we found the perfect place to claim as our new home. It's an ice cave called Lega, and it seems to be used by the local bears and wolves as some kind of den. It should be easy enough to get rid of. Entry two. We've done it. The bears and wolves have been driven from the cave, and we've already started making ourselves at home. May our children's children enjoy the comfort of Lega. Entry three. One of those blasted bears got into the cave today. We drove him out, but he managed to make off with our dinner. It's a good thing I have my grandfather's enchanted ring to keep them at bay. And let me guess, it ran out of charge. You fools, you should have killed the bears and wolves. Made sure they were dead. Imbeciles. So what's down here then? Be something totally mundane like the toilet. But who knows? Okay, this goes a lot further than I thought it would, actually. Oh, there's a wolf down here. Hello, Mr. Wolf. Are you alone? I suspect you might not be. Oh. Perhaps you are. Another corpse. Anything of value here at all? Uh, some not very good weapons. Ah, well. We're exploring for its own sake is certainly a noble goal, I admit. Although it would have been nicer to find something a bit more interesting. Right. Okay. Enough. Enough detours. This is, this is getting a bit silly. Those are in mountains, and oh my goodness, the weather doesn't like us right now. There it is. That's got to be the windstone. Kind of looks fairly inconspicuous next to all those other rocks, doesn't it? But I'm pretty sure this is the windstone. It's a pretty windy day, too, so I suppose that's appropriate. Yeah, here it is. Right. However, ladies and gentlemen, that will be next time. In the next episode, we will tackle the windstone and finally finish our Skull Pilgrimage. Blessed will be the day. Soon, folks. Very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, everyone. And I'll see you next time.